am my boy Gintoki, although we've been having some bad news recently about the Gintama series reaching its penultimate end, I gotta say, at least it's gonna go out with a bang, especially where right now, as our boy Gintoki taking on the last of these three ominous like generals that we've been dealing with in this final arc. And honestly, if you guys have been living under a rock for like the past week that you didn't know what was happening with Gintama, is they like, hey, kind of got confirmed that it's kind of wrapping up into this final arc right about now. And honestly, like I felt like this for a while, even for the Takasugi stuff, I was like, oh my god, this is the last arc. Then the one after that, no, this is the last arc. And this one is like, oh no, this is definitely the last arc. I feel like it's kind of like how it's going to go. And I know I've really emphasized it already on my video, but... Just to say as well, I fucking love the series, it's an amazing manga, amazing anime, it's made me cry many times, it's made me laugh so times, I was fucking cry my ass because of that as well, and to see it's ending, you know, it's like all good things start to come to an end, that's always what I had to say to it, but you know what, we do it with a fuck, we do it with a smile on our face, even if the tears are flowing, that's what I say, you know what, and just do a fucking calming kind of thing, you know, can tell may be gone, but it lives in our hearts and in our backs, you know, just do some cheesy shit like that on there. But I've got to say, the one that I've been waiting for the most out of everyone is Gintoki's fight right now. And I've got to say, really going straight in, I really like it with the whole going back into the comedy as well. Like, I really like, like, it's definitely with, like, Sakamoto, like, he was the more comedic ones of the fights so from what we saw that it was kind of going in there. But especially with Gintoki, he was, like, really fucking around with him at the start. And it's like, because we found out, because I, I didn't do the last week's chapter, but if you didn't know about that one, basically it was this guy who was responsible, like, Sakamoto can't use a sword anymore because he, like, pretty much cut his wrist and he couldn't, like, you know, hold an actual sword properly. And it's like, that's an interesting thing to have, kind of like a weird little vendetta on him especially. And then even as well, like, you know, like, so, like I like when Gintoki's, like, trying to take this all serious and he's like, yo... Someone's drawn on your face, by the way. It's like, why are you, why are all your guys snickering as well? It's like that. It's like, dude, they even draw like a fucking, they even stitch your eyes together. Not to mention, so why did they give you the Chigan eye from like Yu Yu Hakusho? And I'm like, you gotta get that Hakusho reference in there, man. Like, you know, everyone loves a little bit of Hakusho. I mean, fuck Tagashi's releasing schedule. I don't know about, hey, everyone can appreciate a good little bit of Yu Hakusho. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking great. And then he's like, he's saying, like, Kentucky say, grab him a tissue, saying, yo, let me rub that out for you, man. Let me rub that out. And he's like, fucking pulling out the lightsaber. That's like, a little bit too coincidence since The Force Awakens just came out recently. And I swear to God, if any of you spoil The Force Awakens in these comments, I should, I'm going to cry at night. Like, because I don't want none of that shit. And honestly, like, how this just by just went from, like, well, we found out uh, more about him, about Bato. And it was like, oh, basically, like, yeah, he's the second, you know, in command of the Harasami Division. And just, we found out that their clan, pretty much back in the day, like, they gave up their, like, their sight and hearing to get this eye that pretty much reads minds. Kind of the way, like, what, basically, what the Jagan eye did, pretty much, for the most part. And that's the thing with this, like, I, it was very interesting, like, he gave him up just so he could see, like, with his mind. Like, he isn't hearing him right now. He could just, like, read his mind and obviously guess what's, like, actually being said and all that with his, you know, mind-reading eye. And I'm like, well, that's one way to hear, I guess. Like, that's definitely a weird way to fucking do it. But it's like, I like how kids is like, yeah, by the way, like, I, I think I might owe you 300 yen. No, wait a minute, you might owe me 300 yen. He's like, he's slashing, attacking him for, like, all the wrong reasons. I'm like, oh my god, why is this chapter so fucking hilarious? Like, throughout all of this stuff. And I liked as well, like, from what he was saying, like, oh, you know, uh, Samurai loses, you know, with his sword and all that. It's like, count the swordsmen and that. And, like, with this sword, the man is broken. It's like, he's telling you to carry the pride of all the samurai on yourself. And he's like, I have, and he's like, Gintoki's like, I ain't got the slightest intention of carrying any of that, yo, but, like, I broke the man you guys staked everything on tons of times, and he broke me, like, a tons of times, too, I don't plan on throwing that pride away, and I'm like, fucking respect the Takasugi right there in Gintoki, you know, it's just like, he fucking knows, like, you know, like, Takasugi's boy knows that he's like, yeah, we gotta do this shit right now, and I like how he fucking went out, like, with one slash and just took a bunch of them with, like, all his, like, guitar strings, I'm like, that's some fucking respectable stuff. And, like, he's going in, fighting him. He's fighting Bato. And, like, and honestly, every time I hear his name, Bato, I want to keep saying Bato Sai or something like that. The manslayer. Because it's definitely what exactly it's supposed to be. But it's like, honestly, this entire 
like fight from what we got. It was really funny. I like I was like keep thinking like, oh, you're that guy from the, uh, uh, all the time ago. And he's like got that really weird face and shit like that. And then he does a dick in Tokyo as well, where he looks like this giant, like just fucking weird person with like big chin and everything. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like it's just it's nice to have the comedy kind of back on, like you know, on full blast. I feel like that. this is definitely like the comedy has been good for like the past couple of weeks now with like in town, but it hasn't been like it's felt like it's strongest as well, especially with the Sakamoto stuff. Now I feel like we've kind of, it's kind of like been getting kind of like better and better and all that. Although I still say at the moment I ha probably have more expectations for this fight than I do with uh, what I had for like Sakamoto and also as well with Katsura. So it's probably is going to be this fight, Katsura and then Sakamoto is probably in that order what we're going to be seeing. And hopefully, like from we've been hearing a lot about Takasugi, I'm hoping that we're going to see him soon uh, sometime and all that. Like I really want to see him get out of that coma. Maybe he helps out a little bit. Maybe he does a little bit shit. And not to mention as well, we haven't seen Kagura in a very long time, and I'm wondering what uh, she's been doing. It's been a couple of months since we've even seen her, so even a little bit of snippet about Kagura or anything, or even, you know, can we any of like the Yasos, we need to know a little bit more about that. I mean, I know we're on a weekly run and all that, but it's like, yeah, it was a bit lonely without having our main like girl in here. Like, I'm kind of missing about Kagura not being in the series at all. Overall, I really did thoroughly enjoy this chapter. I cannot wait for it. Comedy wasn't on point. Action is just getting me excited. I love those references to Yu Yu Hakusho. I mean, I know it's kind of a little bit of sweet thing. It's like we got a lot of good stuff coming out for like next year, guys. So 2016, there's a bunch of anime and like there's some great stuff. There's a like, Gintama arcs that are going to be great as well. Not to mention that you got, you know, Jojo, the Gray Man, like Ties Eye Season 2, Titan maybe, if that ever decides to fucking come out. Like. There's just tons of stuff that I'm not even mentioning right now. I'm not even like it's just anime, manga, not to mention as well TV shows, like movies. Like there's so much stuff, and I feel like you know what? If the series ends, it's gonna go out of the bang, and that's definitely what I would do. I would rather have this series kind of end now, like after like next year, or so like say midway through next year to late, like nearly like late enough to near 2017 and nearly the start of 2017. I'd rather go out like a bang like that than just be dragged out, honestly. Like, that's the thing with, like, this series. Like, let it do what it wants. Like, let if, you know, Sirachi wants to end the bad boy, let him end it. He's done a fucking solid job. So, honestly, that's my own for appearing on this chapter. I give this one a solid 8 out of 10. Really enjoy this one, and I cannot wait for more of it. But that's all for me. I was thank you very much for watching this always, and I will catch you guys next time.